I'm going to go over a hip mobilization technique and we'll call it the donut hole. And uh, this is really, really good to uh, augment what you're currently doing as far as stretching the iliotibial band or the piriformis, tensile fascia, so as anything that crosses the hip. And if you really think about what happens with joint mobilization or spinal manipulation, whatever the attachment is to that joint or segment, when you mobilize it, you're going to relax the muscle spindle activity and get a neurophysiological relaxation to anything that attaches at that part of that joint that you're mobilizing. So this technique is going to make the stretching more effective and it's something we use every single day in the clinic. So Matt here is a student uh, and we're going to have him lay on his back and this technique is going to be directed towards, I'll, I'll come over and do the, the to the left side so we can show you exactly where we're going. You cross the patient's leg over. Now, if they have trouble crossing their leg over, you have to abduct the opposite side. And you might have to build up and put a few pillows or something to put the foot, because a lot of people have difficulty crossing the leg over. If they have difficulty crossing the leg over, that means they need the stretch. They need this mold more than anybody else. So a lot of times we just send people home just doing this, and that is stretching. But in order to make that stretch more effective, we got to get this greater trochanter out of the acetabulum. And the technique is you take this ifoid process on your patella, you make a donut with your circle, with your hands here on the xiphoid process, and then you mobilize straight down. And that force is going to go straight through the femur and cause that head of the trochanter to come right out of the acetabulum and you oscillate just like you would any other manual therapy technique to a joint. After you've done that for your duration, then you would do some stretching and you could do some piriformis, you could do some lateral hip stretch, some IT band, but anything that crosses over through here, crosses through the front, any of those deep rotators of the hip are going to be much more relaxed after performing the donut hole. Try that and see how it goes.